F without dignity, a hidden camera investigation exposing a crematory owner storing bodies in boxes and hot vans. Tonight, state regulators are taking action, and he could lose his license for good. As ABC 15 investigator Joe Ducey shows us, that's after some emotional pleas from the family, shocked to see the disrespect of their loved ones. Okay. So no apologies. Emotions were high. Where's my wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Where's my mother? Ma'am, ma'am, ladies, I'm sorry. And questions to did you meet minimal state standards doing the best you can? No. All-state crematory owner Frank Lambert appeared before the Arizona Board of Funeral Directors and Embalmers fighting to keep his license. I do know that uh, All-state crematory is a reputable, reputable crematory. It's 6 a.m. now. Last month, the ABC 15 investigators exposed how Lambert and his Mesa crematory kept bodies in rundown vans outside for hours. Those are bodies stored in your van overnight. Is that the way you should be doing it? No. Why did you do it? I don't have room. The law requires bodies must be kept refrigerated. Pulled out of a van below. At it's this hearing, the board watched our story. Did you ever sit back and say, I have four bodies in my driveway at home? I have seven in a red van at work out front. I have 35 not in the cooler. I have an odor. Do I have a problem? Lambert admitted 49 out of 75 bodies in his care were kept unrefrigerated for as long as three days because he was so busy. That didn't sit well with board president Catherine Schindel. When family members entrusted their loved ones to you, they expected them to be treated with dignity and care. They could not have imagined that you would let their loved ones rot like spoiled meat in the heat. After two hours, the board found 17 violations and took action against Lambert and his business. We're revoking license 0779 for Allstate Crematory. Voting to not only revoke the crematory license, but also revoke Lambert's license to perform a cremation. They also demanded he pay several thousand dollars in fines and fees. Does anybody want to say those? No, right now. Uh, He's losing what is his livelihood. Vicki Cram says Lambert hurt her family. Her dad, Paul Cope's name, was seen on a box outside the crematory. Another family holding pictures of their loved one questioned whether the punishment went far enough. I'm glad that he won't be able to do this to any other family, but I just wish the fines would have been more. This isn't final yet. Frank Lambert must agree to the board's decisions. If not, the issue gets a final hearing for a final decision. Go to abc15.com slash investigators to see our original hidden camera investigation and the follow-up series. I'm investigator Joe Ducey, ABC 15 News. The board also wants the names of the funeral homes doing business with Allstate Crematory. They want to question the ones with bodies at that crematory during the time they were kept unrefrigerated. Happening now.